Hey everybody, it's another day, another day in the garden. Today's job, we're going to be ripping up the drip irrigation out of the mealy patch, the cornfield. Yeah. So we can then rotate the soil and then rotate in some compost and let it brew for a while before we plant corn. Brew? Same thing that we did in the brew. brew. Just let it brew, simmer. Uh, <laughs> Same thing as we did in the melbutt bed. Alright, so I'm gonna go now and watch a bit of TV. I'll come back and just film when you finish it, alright? Okay, cool. See you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. I didn't want um, that to happen. You might want to watch your language. <laughs> Says the potty man. <laughs> Pot kettle? Oh, is that not allowed anymore? Shh. That's politically incorrect. Uh, what have you done? The pipe came off. So I mean, I could have done that. Yeah, you probably would have. <laughs> what an absolute wally. Are you calling a wally? There we go. Cameraman Shadow. There we go. Amateur. Some of them are in front. Come on, Batman. Okay, I think I need to go and get the side cutters before I break this valve off. Yeah. So we can pull them off. I suppose we could carry on, yeah. Okay, we need to swap jobs. I'm older than you. I'm joking. <laughs> Friday came to the rescue though. Uh, it's all right, we've got a head start this week, babe. It's Monday, so you've got a good chance of getting everything finished and completed by Friday. Not at the rate you're working. I'm old, leave me alone, man. <laughs> what do they call that? Old ageism. Oh, no? sorry, Belle. Jesus. Okay. Bella, be careful. This man's vicious. Watch out, Bell. I'll let you. You're at the end of your rope, Bell. <laughs> hey? Are you at the end of your rope? You're going to have to move. Move. <laughs> you need to move. <laughs> One down. Four, five, six, seven. So there's seven, seven drip tubes. In the last video, there was a debate going on about why this rotavator doesn't work so well. I've taken the wheel off the front, so let's see if that makes any improvement. Hopefully it does. As you can see, taking the wheel off hasn't made any difference whatsoever. It's still rubbish. Now I have Googled how to make rotivating look interesting for YouTube and nothing's come up. I'm not going to bore you with this horrible task. I'll get back to you when it's rotivated. We are on the homeward stretch. Batman is exhausted. Good job. Went a lot quicker than me last year, taking two weeks. Okay, so that's the first round of rotivating done for the corn bed. I'm knackered. We'll get back into it tomorrow and rotivate it again uh, with compost on top, try and get that all rotivated in. Same process that we followed for the 
Mel Batbed. Uh, they're looking all right still. I'll leave it up to the expert inside. <laughs> okay, so what's going back in here? Um, I have got the intruder inside that needs to come out. Okay. Can you speak up a little bit? Please. My apologies. Yeah, open your mouth. Talk. Not monkey. Um, I'm going to toss this up and I think we're going to put the seedlings I've got inside. Beetroot. Yeah. Clear up that side and I've got more leaks coming and I'm going to see if we can do the same thing. With those, yeah, so. I don't know. These are the roots from the leeks we've just harvested. We're going to plant those again. Because that's what we did with these and as you can see they're growing who knows maybe we can have infinite leaks hoop house stuff still doing all right sadly some of the chilies and pretty much all of the tomatoes carked it we had a cold snap and uh, it's just thin plastic so it doesn't really protect against cold that well these were doing great until the cold snap, now they're gone. So we rectified the garlic bed, just extended it with some scrap wood we had and just made it one bed instead of separating it. Just got it back filled with soil, treat it, fertilize with compost and hopefully we grow lots of garlic. So these are carrots and radish. <laughs> It's an experiment. It's not that we forgot to separate the carrots out. We're doing an experiment. Hey Al. So the leek bed's been harvested. We've leveled it all out again after the flood. Tossing in the soil. We'll toss in some new compost and I think we're going to plant leeks again with... Oh, what's that stuff called? Beetroot. Beetroot. <laughs> Mandy's busy tidying up the onion bed. Got a bit scraggly. Hopefully with the warmer weather now they should pick up. This is some garlic that I planted a few weeks ago. Looks to be doing all right. Next thing to do is to sort out the potato bed. The wood's rotten at the bottom. It's untreated lumber. It really just doesn't last. So I've got to fix that up because Mandy's going to be planting some more peas because the wood's so rotten the staples just don't hold the metal in place so i need to sort that as well so scrap pieces of wood drill driver and screws so all i did was screw those scrap pieces of wood over the metal to hold them in place a longer piece on this end should hold up for one more season we'll build a new box next year hey everybody weather looks like it's turning it was two degrees this morning coldest temperatures going forward i think it's down to five degrees over the next week and a bit so we're thinking about planting some <laughs> of our seedlings we jumped the gun last year and planted them too soon i think and then we got a cold snap in april they got snowed on and they died, everything. I don't know. It's tempting because we've got some nice seedlings going already. The garden's open. Off you go. Yeah. On you go. There they are. In the garden. Off you go. So these beds over here that we built last year. Hmm. Post-mortem should have done them differently, but they're up now. So until they fall apart, we're going to make use of them. They need to be all straightened up, come up with a better idea for supporting the tomatoes and cucumbers. The strings were a pain in the ass, to be fair. So this is one of the next big jobs to do. Tidying up the trees. It's a never-ending process. But... It's a win-win situation because we need stuff to chip for the paths in the vegetable garden. We need to get this box leveled after the flood. That's what we're doing today. Another one of the jobs. So 
So I'm just going to dig the soil out around the outside perimeter, scoop it in from the sides and see if we can just maneuver it down so it sits flat on the ground again. It's worth a shot. gonna work. I'll dig it all out like that around the outside, scoop the soil away and then we should be able to maneuver this thing down and get it level. It looks more level now. Okay, cool. We will eventually put some wood chip around it I guess. Hey? And I think we should just plant new potato chits in here. Be done with it. So we're digging in some of our compost, rejuvenating this bed. It's gonna, I don't know, what's gonna have? Beetroot. Beetroot. And leeks. And leeks. Okay. Doesn't look bad at all. That should have some good stuff for them. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing the funky monkey. <laughs> I mean the Mandy muck up. That <laughs> was with an M, people, not an F. <laughs> You missed, you missed one. <laughs> you know? You're doing yoga at the same time. Yeah. Haven't got time for yoga, you've got to plant potatoes. <laughs> Done. Water. Here's some green stuff you missed. Huh? Here's green stuff you missed. There you go. Strong old woman. <laughs> Is that how it's got to be done? Sprinkled like fairy dust. <laughs> hey man! Only bloody camera we got you, Numpty. <laughs> Time to move on to the next job, gathering some soil that the chickens have been working over for us for the last couple of weeks and to move it into the vegetable garden and start backfilling the onion bed as well as uh, the garlic bed that we've uh, just recently rebuilt. So after completing the garlic bed, Mandy moved on to planting out the beetroot in the leek bed that we'd recently rejuvenated. Uh, she had to separate out all the seedlings as they were all planted <laughs> in one pot, uh, individually placing them into holes that she'd made. It's a new day, back on the corn bed. We need to toss some compost all over what we've rotivated previously, get it spread out nicely and then get the rotivator out and get started with rotivating the compost into the soil. Seems to work quite well even though it's a rubbish rotivator. Okay compost rotivated in, I'll give it another rake tomorrow, smooth it off a bit, a few more stones out and that's it, ready. Mandy wanted the asparagus bed deeper, so we've taken it down a bit deeper. 
We'll get stuck into this tomorrow. Asparagus and rhubarb bed. Get that ready for planting. Looks like the beetroot survived its first night out in the wild. So today we are, well, we, Mandy, <laughs> is going to be chucking out all the compost from this bin. We want to empty it so we can start tossing the compost, wetting it and adding in the bounty we've cleaned out of the chicken coop. That's the plan. One of the many jobs for today. Hey, babe. Let's pretend like I do some work. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Pretend. This is the bounty out of the chicken coop. Busy cleaning it out. The deep bed process. Stinks. Our chickens play a very important part in the compost process. We also try and maximize the use of the tractor and trailer by making sure that we don't run an empty trailer up and down. So if we come down with a load of compost, we'll go back with a load of stuff to add to the burning pile for later. What are these going in? Zucchinis. Zucchinis, the first outdoor planting for spring, I guess. First one going in. Does that mean we get to drink wine? <laughs> yeah. Zucchinis. There we go. One down, many to go. Mandy started tidying up the strawberry bed, clearing out. There's just too many plants in there. She's already taken out 18. And you can't even see the difference. Those all have to get planted somewhere now. Protecting the freshly planted zucchinis. From insects and cold weather. And dogs. Hey Al. Hoop House had a good tidy up, all the dead tomato plants taken out, some more peas planted. We get in there. Almost ready to finish the hoop house once and for all. Put the windows in, etc. Leak beds been leveled and filled. Leak roots from the ones we harvested have been planted here. We'll see what comes up in a few days. Beetroot planted there. Onion beds topped up with decent soil, tidied up. Same for those garlic. The last job for the week was to complete the preparation of the asparagus and rhubarb bed by rotivating in some compost and then giving it a good rake over. Asparagus bed, rhubarb bed prepped, ready for planting. Corn bed prepped, ready for planting. Hen house has been cleaned. I don't like that deep mulch stuff. Supposedly try to keep them warm in winter. It stinks, I'm gonna clean it once a week. Also giving them a fresh dust bath. How many eggs we got today? Ah, oh, they're pulling their weight, six today. From seven hens, that's not bad.